good morning. It is one week until Christmas and I am heading to my gym right now before anybody else gets there. And I'm going to do a killer leg workout and try and get all this done before I, before I head back because I know that my wife is going to want to get some last minute Christmas shopping done. Uh, or to her last minute is like one week out. For me last minute is like Boxing Day for the family we haven't seen yet. So I'm gonna try and be ahead this year and go seven days before and get all these things that we're, um, you know, that we need to get for our family and friends. So I feel like I'm ahead.
So I'm just getting back from the gym and I gotta tell you this has gotta be my most favorite part about wintertime. Using my beast. Yes. I love snowboarding. And done. So I'm not sure if you guys can see my driveway. There we go. Now we can see a little bit better. Now I'm pretty sure that my neighbor across the street there was, was trying to race me. Alright, so Mama is off to go get some more Christmas gifts. And then little Damien and I are here and we're waiting for Mommy to come back so we can do some Santa pictures and Christmas pictures. But I wanted to share a quick story with you guys and it has to do with changing your mind to change your body. So sometimes we see so many people in the fitness industry that are on the extreme end and, and trust me, I've been there. I, I totally get it, you know, but, but there's a lot of people though that are not at the extreme end of it. And when I say that, they're just maybe they're maybe they're not feeling successful. Maybe they don't know they have all they don't have all the know-how, or they don't feel like they have the time to be doing things. But one thing I do know is that if you get your mind right, you can get your body to where you want it to be, and that I do know. It holds very true. I learned that a long time ago, and I've learned it with a lot of my clients over the years. And I just want you to listen to this story about changing your mind to change your body, and what happened to one of my online coaching clients. And she says this, she goes, hey, guess what I just did? Um, only the one thing I've never been able to do my entire adult life. That's right, I did it. Big smiley face. I knew, I knew exactly what she meant at this point. And it was, and I said, come on, tell me, come on. And then she goes, uh, this is through text, by the way. And then she says, took my place in the free weights today. And she has all these... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> little emoji con guys going on and then she goes scared as heck but they stayed there for the whole program so we talked about this we talked about getting her from doing you know just standing on the bike or sitting on the bike or standing on and walking on the treadmill and just watching everybody else parade around girls in the lulu pants feeling super confident and guys with their tank tops on and it can be overwhelming for the average person right but she did it she got her mind right. She got herself to the point where she was able to say, you know what, the heck with it, man. I'm, I'm going to do this. I got my program. You know, my coach has told me what to do. I have all the workout videos right here on his app, you know. Um, but she had to get her mind right before any of that. She has the tools all right there, but she had to get her mind right. And of course, I said, woo, that's amazing. And she's like, I know, right? She's like, I'm feeling a little badass tonight. Ha, with a little, again, a little guy with um, some shades on. And I said, ha, no kidding. I'm so proud of you. I almost say her name. And then I said, the law of the most. So now you got momentum on your side. You just got to own it, right? You got to keep it going and repeat the same thing. And it was so cool to be able to see her do this. But the key is that she got her mind right. And the, the, the reality is that a lot of people struggle with this. Not everybody is walking around with the confidence of, you know, a bodybuilder or a fitness... <laughs> <laughs> a, fitness, a fitness athlete or whatever. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> so I think this is an important message that I want to be able to share with you guys. And she says, you know, th thank you. I'm proud of myself too. It was not an easy thing. I actually went back in four times. Listen to this. She went back to the gym four times yesterday and couldn't go in. Finally, at 10.30 p.m., last attempt, she gave up and she said, you know what? I'm going to go in tomorrow or I'm done. And she said, I knew I didn't want to be done, right? So she struggled with this. You know how many people probably go through this? Probably hundreds and thousands. Believe me, I own a gym and I've seen people literally go into the parking lot and turn around and leave, right? And just imagine. So you never know what effect you might have on somebody as a coach or as a friend um, or a workout partner, you know, by just giving them, maybe it's, you know, some proper tools to use, but just the motivation and helping them get their mind right. So she's, um, she was really proud of herself. I'm really, really proud of her. And, <laughs> and then as I was giving her a big congrats and saying I was still thinking of her and all that kind of stuff the following day, she says, guess what? Guess where I'm at right now? In the free weight section. So if you notice somebody in your gym who's maybe been doing the same thing over and over, it might just be because they have some fear, man. So go out, give them some help, right? Help them to try some, you know, help show them something new, all that good stuff. And then one last thing. And then she says, I almost checked out again, but nope. And then lastly, she goes, and I asked a man for help. She's, she's totally fine. Like she's, uh, as far as the man situation, she's happily married. She has her kids. But for the average woman who's maybe like not super confident to go into the free weight section of the gym, 
to go and ask, you know, some buff dudes that are super confident with what they're doing, like, hey, you know, can you show me how to do this? And the guy ended up helping her, and she says, I'm feeling very liberated. Awesome. So the moral of the story here with this one is, get your mind right, right? Change your mind if you want to change your body, all right? All the tools are there for you. You got to be resourceful, but you got to change your mind if you want to change your body. All right. Let's go, Papa.